Hello, and welcome back to our channel where we explore the journey of personal growth and empowerment. Today, we're delving into a topic that affects so many of us, the cost of being a people pleaser. Stick around till the end as I'll be sharing an exciting solution for those looking to break free from these patterns. People pleasing might sound like a positive trait. After all, what's wrong with wanting to make others happy? But when people pleasing, when pleasing others comes at the expense of our own well-being, it becomes a heavy burden. Today, we're going to uncover the hidden costs of being a people pleaser. Let's delve deeper into the psychological impacts of people pleasing, particularly in romantic relationships. It's a pattern that not only strains your mental health, but can also erode the very foundation of your relationships. To illustrate, let's explore the story of Emily, a clear example of the detrimental effects of this behavior. Emily, a graphic designer in her late 20s, found herself in a relationship with Jake who she believed was her dream partner. Initially, everything seemed perfect. However, as time went by, Emily started noticing Jake's tendency to prioritize his needs and interests. Wanting to keep the peace and make Jake happy, Emily began adapting her lifestyle to suit his preferences. She started skipping her weekly art classes, an activity that she once passionately loved to spend more time with Jake. Her social life took a back seat as she regularly turned down invitations from friends, fearing Jake might feel neglected. Even her career aspirations began to wane as she declined opportunities for professional growth just to align with Jake's schedule and be available for him. Over months, this pattern intensified. Emily's identity began to blur as she increasingly lost touch with her passions and her desires. She felt a constant pressure to conform and please, leading to stress and anxiety. Her self-esteem plummeted as she constantly sought Jake's approval for every little decision, big or small. The turning point came when Emily realized she no longer recognized herself. She felt trapped, unhappy, and unfulfilled. Her relationship, once a source of joy, now felt like a cage. A significant argument over wanting to visit her family, which Jake casually dismissed, brought everything to a head. It dawned on Emily that in her quest to be the perfect partner, she had sacrificed her own happiness and well-being. This realization was both painful and liberating. It marked the beginning of Emily's journey towards reclaiming her identity. She started attending her art classes, she reconnected with the friends she had disconnected with, and she began pursuing her career goals. The shift wasn't easy though, it caused friction in her relationship with Jake, ultimately leading to its breakdown. But for Emily, it was a crucial step towards rediscovering her self-worth and establishing a life where she was no longer just a people pleaser, but a person in her own right. Emily's story is a stark reminder of how people pleasing, especially in romantic relationships, can lead us down a path of self-neglect and loss of identity. It underscores the importance of maintaining our own individuality and not losing ourselves in the pursuit of pleasing others. Emily's experience, while challenging, is not uncommon. It brings to light the need for balance in relationship and the courage to prioritize our own needs. Now, Let's discuss the social consequences of people pleasing. This behavior often leads to imbalanced one-sided relationships where your efforts go unnoticed and unreciprocated. To understand this better, let's delve into the case of Alex, a vivid illustration of how people pleasing can distort the dynamics of a relationship. Alex, a 32 year old architect, was in a relationship with Laura, whom he met during a community theater production. From the beginning, Alex was captivated by Laura's vibrant personality and energy. Eager to make the relationship work, Alex found himself going to great lengths to accommodate Laura's preferences and schedule. At first, it was about skipping his own gym sessions to meet up with Laura. Then it escalated to Alex canceling plans with friends and family to be available whenever Laura wanted to hang out. He even started to sideline his own interests, like his weekend hiking trips, which he used to cherish, just to align with Laura's urban lifestyle. 
However, this pattern of constant adjustment and compromise began to take its toll on Alex. He noticed that his efforts weren't being reciprocated. Laura rarely inquired about Alex's interests or how he wanted to spend their time together. And in social gatherings, Alex often found himself sidelined, feeling more like an accessory to Laura rather than a partner. The real eye-opener for Alex came during a holiday season. He had planned a special trip to a cabin in the mountains, a place that he'd always wanted to take Laura, but at the last minute, Laura changed plans to attend a high-profile city event instead. Alex was left to either abandon his own long-awaited plans or go alone. This incident made Alex painfully aware of how invisible and underappreciated he felt in the relationship. It dawned on Alex that in his desire to please Laura, he had neglected his own needs and desires. The relationship, rather than being a source of mutual support and joy, had become a one-way street where Alex's presence and efforts were taken for granted. The realization prompted a significant change in Alex. He began to reclaim his time, his interests, his space. He started setting boundaries and expressing his needs more openly. While the shift initially caused friction and discomfort in the relationship, it was a necessary step for Alex to regain his sense of self-worth and identity. Alex's story is a poignant example of how people-pleasing can lead to unbalanced relationships where one person's needs overshadow the others. It highlights the importance of mutual respect and reciprocity in maintaining healthy, fulfilling connections. Alex's journey teaches us a crucial lesson about the importance of mutual give and take in relationships. So how do we break this cycle of people pleasing and how do we cultivate healthier, more balanced connections with those around us? It starts with awareness and a conscious decision to change. Remember saying no doesn't make you a bad person. It makes you an honest person. Respecting your own needs is just as important as respecting others. But this transformation isn't always easy which is why I have something special for you. If you're resonating with what we've discussed today and are looking for a way out of the people-pleasing trap, I have great news. We've developed a comprehensive course titled Honing Assertiveness, a Prerequisite to Self-Mastery. This course is designed to help you understand your worth, communicate effectively, and build relationships that are mutually respectful and fulfilling. So thank you for joining me today. If you're interested in learning more about the course and how it can transform your life, check out the link in the description below. Remember, your journey towards a more assertive and fulfilling life is just one decision away. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more content on personal growth and empowerment, and I will see you in the next video.